we lose we lost somebody who was a a bit of a a maverick in his own way. By his, uh, he, he Walter Mondale passed away yesterday. He was ninety three. He was a champion of liberal causes and the first presidential candidate to put a female VP candidate on his ticket, Geraldine Ferraro. So, Megan, uh, I'm sure you probably knew him and met him. What were your thoughts? Well, first of all, he was the first uh, presidential candidate to put a woman on the ticket before my dad ended up uh, doing it uh, second. And he, my favorite uh, d political debate of all time is the one with him and President Reagan where uh, President Reagan makes a joke about his age. He says, I'm not going to use my opponent's youth against him because there were so many criticisms against how old uh, President Reagan was when he was running. Uh, Walter Mondale was a happy warrior. He knew that he was going to lose. He was a very formidable vice president to uh, President Carter while he was in office. And he's one of these, you know, sort of political, as you said, mavericks, really interesting modern American politician that I don't think we have necessarily enough reverence for just because he ended up losing. I have a special place in my heart for people who run for president and lose. And he had um, the wherewithal in the early 80s to choose a woman as his vice presidential pick, which was really at the time quite groundbreaking. And, you know, he's just one of these figures in American history that will be missed. Yeah. And, Joy, what, what will you remember about Walter Mondale? Well, I remember Walter Mondale as a very compassionate human being. He reminds me of Biden in many ways. They cared about Americans. They felt your pain, etc. But what I really remember is Jerry Ferraro, who was a, I was very friendly with Jerry. And she was the first Italian-American woman, I guess, even maybe just Italian-American, to run for vice president. It was quite historic. I said to her one time, what do you do, Jerry, with all the criticism that you get? And she said, in the garbage. In the garbage. I love her. <laughs> it's going to Yeah. That's, you know, that's right. In the garbage. Or nowadays it would be, don't even read it. You know, <laughs> don't even read it. We'll be right back. Oscar nominee Maria Bakalova talks about deleted scenes in the Borat sequel, where she has a close encounter with President Trump and one where she sneaks into the White House next. Across Canada, we have launched Tim's for Good. Tim's for Good is an initiative to bring positive changes to our food and beverages, planet, people, and communities. <laughs> We're on a journey to elevate the quality of our food and beverages. We're committed to removing a billion single-use plastics by the end of the year. <clears throat> a song. By Paul Beckman, Polly Rainbow Song. <clears throat> created April 20th, 2021 using the guitar chords G, C, and D no, let's try some other guitar chords we'll do something different <clears throat> The song <clears throat> Jamie Cole. Goodbye, Walter Mondale. using oh yeah, here we go
approximately 99 years old or so. Well, there you go. Walter Mondale, you're gonna be missed oh, by so many. So many who remember you. You're also vice president during the years of Carter, that's true. Yeah, Walter Mondale, then you try to run on your own. But someone else got it, so you. Nevertheless, you try. Topic on me, Walter Mondale. Enjoy. This earth so young at 99 we hope you have a divine divine existence following this earthly life that puts you in your standing